Hello everybody and welcome back to Hoff Bowman. So if you've been watching this series so far you'll have seen the mammoth operation that's going on here over at the BGA. I'm trying to process about 750,000 litres of fermented sylphy, which is proving to be a bit of a nightmare. Well, it's not really a nightmare because what we get at the end of it is going to be a huge amount of money plus digestate, but it's just taking a serious amount of time. So I'm just going to get one more bucket load from the JCB and leave it over the, uh, the processor there so it can take it whenever it's ready. But really, I'm going to have to move away from here and just let it get on with its own thing because otherwise the whole episode is going to just consist of me doing this, scooping up silage and putting it in the processor, which I think we've probably seen enough by now. Yes, I doubt it will take it straight away because the conveyor belt is feeding it as well. Oh, unless of course I tip it on the ground, which, yes, means it will take it. <laughs> Just in the wrong place. Anyway, there we go. So, very soon, we're going to be opening the pipeline. 85% full of the biogas tankers. Um, it looks like it's probably going to be full at 200,000 litres. We just opened the valve and I think we get paid in one lump sum, which is going to be incredible. Um, but yeah, my main focus soon is going to be in field number four, which is the field which we just did the digestate spreading on. It needs to be drilled, but as you can see, the soil temperature currently is only two, and it really needs to be about five. So I think there probably are some crops which will accept four, some are even higher, some are about 10. Um, but yes, we're not gonna to have to worry about a crop which is germinating at 10 degrees. We do also have our rye field, just behind this wall, behind the shed, which is doing very, very well. However, I think it probably does require a bit of fertilizer because I did use digestate, and I think it's possible that we can improve it further. But yeah, as you can see, it looks good. Looks very good. Uh, so yeah, early spring, no leaves on the trees just yet, but I can still take this over here. So, I need to choose which crop to put in. It's not going to be anything like canola. That would have been drilled in the previous year. However, I'm hoping it can still be something quite good. Something which has a germination of five or below. We've done silphy, that requires 10 degrees anyway. Uh, rye is interesting, we could do rye in both fields, but I prefer not to, I think, because, well, I suppose we could do, actually. We could do, since it is one of the new crops for this map. Everything else is pretty standard, stuff we've done before. Okay, yeah, we'll just do rye. I couldn't have done it in the previous year anyway, because it wasn't ready. We were still harvesting the silphy. So, yeah, as soon as it's five degrees ground temperature, We'll get this tractor going in here. Uh, the temperature is actually increasing dramatically, so it might be today. Anyway, what I must do is, yeah, is move the spilled corn and put it into the duck's feed trough. Now, I want to use a wheelbarrow. I like the idea of it, even though, yeah, this is gonna work fine. Although we do need a bucket. Actually, do we have a bucket anywhere for this? Probably don't. No, okay, well I'll go and get a bucket. Here's my bucket. Very nice one, it's actually really big. And yeah, maybe I should wait until we have horses for the wheelbarrow. In fact, maybe we could get horses today. That might be interesting. Especially with the money which we get from the biogas. Because we don't really have enough to do. We have ducks, we have goats. Horses would be interesting. So I think we will do that. Okay, let's just scoop this up. Yes, it makes sense to use this for feeding the ducks, although I don't have any more corn here. I have some in storage. Yes, a bit of a pathetic excuse for a full bucket load. That's not going to be enough. They do have some. Um, I believe you can put a bag on that stand there. And then you can put the wheelbarrow underneath. You can just feed them gradually, which is a great idea. Oh, we'd better muck them out as well. Whoops.
Oh no, I've picked up manure. Right, we don't want to be feeding them that. Especially with chunky bits. Since I have managed to get... Oh, it's emptied, but yeah. Since I've managed to get some, we'll get the rest. Excuse me, duck. Lovely. Eventually, we're going to have enough of the manure to <laughs> spread it on the land, but they produce it pretty slowly. Well, then again, when a, a cow does a poop, it's like a huge splat. Huge cow pat. Whereas a duck is just going to be like a little pellet, I guess. So, you wouldn't expect it to be anywhere near as much. Yes, in future I'll use the grab, because that's what it's for. This is for food. Yeah, so we're definitely going to get a horse. I think it'd be nice to get a horse or two. I'm just going to go and get some food. Even if they don't need a whole bucket load, it's fine. We can keep it in the bucket. Right, just going to refresh my memory as to what other food the ducks will have. I'm sure it doesn't always have to be corn. Wheat, barley, rye, corn, chicken food. Okay, um, well, we have no wheat, we have some barley, we'll give them barley. There we go. That's good. Yeah, no point giving them, keep giving them corn if we've almost got nothing left. We might need it for something else. I would be interested to know how long it's going to be until the pipe can be opened, the pipeline. Um, I think it is filling up pretty quickly. We're playing at times 15, which is faster than normal just because I need to be able to get the ground temperature up. And I really want to sell some of our biogas. And wow, it took it all. And now for the spilt food, which wasn't really much. Is that going to be enough? Oh, look at that, they're going to take loads more. I think we are beyond wheelbarrows with this. Uh, we should be okay using the wheelbarrow for the horses, because we have a big bag of food there. We can just keep barrowing it around to the trough, which I look forward to doing. But yeah, I'll just go and very quickly get another bucket load of barley. And then that'll probably do it for now. It's a seriously big bucket. Oh, there's the congregation of ducks. Okay, that's good. That should have pretty much filled their trough. It has done. As for wood shavings, yeah, we can give them a bit of a top up. They have almost run out. And, yep, yeah, the ducks' eggs are in the incubator. Oh, apparently I left one in there. I was told that I left a duckling in there. I think it probably got overwritten with the eggs, if there was one. Yeah, it seems to be working as it should be, so there we go. Dog is running around everywhere. Right, so wood shavings, we have a bag in here. I'm pleased that I did buy two bags in the end. Initially, I was going to go with one. I must say, these ducks do require quite a lot of attention. Okay, I need to get it in the right place. It always takes me a few seconds just to figure it out. Um, last time I just hurled it. Ah, well, it seems to work. I think the trigger is slightly off the ground. And it took the whole thing, so yeah, that's actually quite impressive, because I think last time it didn't take the whole lot. Right, okay, let's shut the gate. Top up your water. And let's go and see how things are getting on over at the BGA. Yep, that's the one we want. Good job I came to look. It would appear that's turned off. 
Um, but yes, the processor hasn't finished, so that's good. Nothing's been wasted here. Here it comes. Well, I will just make things uh, a bit better here by topping it up. This is our silage grass rather than the silage silphy. But I think that pipeline's going to be full. I keep calling it a pipeline. <laughs> I mean the tank. Yes, the pipe is only full whenever I open the valve. I am prioritising this pile because it's a bit in the way. Be good to get rid of it. Uh, the trailer is full as well. It's got 70,000 litres in it. That trailer over there. So we do still have quite a bit. Anyway, that's pretty much full. I'll leave it at that. Now, is it full? No, 92%. But it will be in this episode. I'm going to make sure of it. So as we wait, let's buy some horses. Uh, that's a workshop. Don't think you can buy them from there. We're probably going to have to go over to the uh, livestock market, but I don't have a horse box. I only have the uh, livestock trailer. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to be compatible. There it is. Uh, oh, you can. Nine horses. Crikey. How many should we put in here? That's the question. There's the wheelbarrow. We do have a new wheelbarrow as well. I think it's somewhere over here. Uh, anyway, I, I think probably three. Three horses would make sense. We'll use this tractor. take the weight off, that's quite a heavy one. Yeah, this is the reason I want to have the trailer emptied over at the BGA, because that tractor, the 6S, is more suitable for this sort of thing. But this tractor will be able to do it okay. Just going to briefly put the time back to times 5, I don't want it to go dark too early. I need to settle the horses. Um, actually, would would the horses really come from the livestock market or is there a stable? I will take a look into this before I head off. Yeah, there's the horse ranch, just there. Livestock dealer might. Let's go and try a few things out. Okay, that looks promising. I'm sure last time I was here there were horses in this field. Or was that a different field? Here we go. Uh, so, what do we want to go for? I don't really know what my favourite type of horse is. Uh, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, black one looks nice. Actually, <laughs> they all look quite nice. Um, I have nothing against any of them. Uh, okay, let's go for those three. There they are. Whoop. Well, they look happy. Yeah, I think having too many is going to be uh, too too much of a burden because we are focusing on other stuff as well. Goodbye, sign. Okay, so I. Th I think our horse field is here on the right hand side. Uh, we do have, what, what do we have, a gate anywhere? There's going to be a place, there seems to be a track there so you can probably take down the electric fence. Yes, okay. I should have animated the trailer tailgate going down. Anyway, not to worry. Yeah, open electric fence, there you go. Love that. And we now have our three horses in the field. We can't just keep them in the uh, stable all the time. This needs to be set up. Uh, how should we do this? Put it there. Put that. I think we'll just put that with the valve pretty much. 
I can't put it through. Let's put it here. Wait. How should we do it? Ah, let's just see. Yeah, we'll do it there. That's good. So that's filling. Uh, yeah, it even tells you the uh, maximum fill level. 7,692 litres. So they do take quite a bit. Uh, we don't know yet how much food they take. But yes, coming on to the food. Let us find their thing. Paddock A. Uh, oats, hay, hay pellets. They require quite a lot. We have Flipper, Edgar, and Zeus. Not bad. Not bad names at all. Yeah, so... Um, they are happy here. They seem fine. They just need to get some food. If they can have hay instead of oats, then... Yeah, that that's fine. In fact, that's really good. Because we have hay. We might have some oats. Sort of makes you think we should drill oats instead of drilling rye, but I... I don't know. Uh, we could do. It's not too late. We can do anything. What do you think? Do you think we should do rye, or should we do oats? Uh, the thing is, it's only three horses, so they're not going to take tons and tons of food. And we can give them hay instead. So, yeah. Please do give me some feedback. Let's put this front loader back on. Uh, we don't want to have the bag attachment. I believe I'm actually at the storage place for hay. I am. How much do you think they're going to take? Two? I'll do two. I'm not going to risk transporting that with no rear weight, though. I have accidentally put the time back to times 15, but not to worry. It's actually a good thing. Oh, and by the way, I don't actually have to wait until it's 100% full, the biogas tank. It's just I want to make it as interesting as possible. The bigger the figure, the more exciting it gets. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's just try and do that a bit better. Yes, yeah, well, I did expect that to happen. I'm going to have to take down the electric fence again. Here we go, horses. Some delicious fresh hay for you. Of course, they do have all the grass to munch on as well. Oh, that horse is seen. <laughs> uh, no, not the... Oh. That looked really realistic to begin with, and then it goes and runs through the tractor. Oh, I was expecting it to take all of that. Well, uh, we can leave one in there. Hopefully it'll accept it as it needs it. And the other one I will give to the goats. The goats do already have a few, but it doesn't matter. I think one in there looks good. Having two probably looks a bit silly. Although I can't really say that because I'm going to have four in the goat enclosure. Anyway, we've spent the whole day doing other stuff, and the ground temperature is still only 2, so there was no chance of doing any drilling today anyway. There we go. Right. Oh yes, and thanks to everybody who said that I can store the spent grain in a silo. I will do, when we need the trailer, that's what I'll do. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just park this over here. Head back to the BGA once again. It must be four by now. 97%. Okay, well, let's just continue loading until it's full.
Also, thanks to everybody for pointing out the gate over here. Funny how you just don't notice stuff when you're focusing on something else. I was trying to move all the silage before, so I didn't even notice the gate. But that's very handy. Uh, that pile's almost gone, thankfully, and that's got to be full. Oh, 99%. <laughs> we are so close. If I just put that time to 120, there we go. We're full. So, are we ready? This is the big moment. This is where we make the money. A full biogas tank. Never done this before. Whoa, that reading actually works. That meter works. I love that. I'm going to guess at... I have no idea, but I'm just going to have some random random guess at £100,000. Let's see how wrong I am. A hundred and twenty-one thousand, and the meter has reset. That is fantastic. Oh, I must close it, otherwise it's going to keep selling. Um, wow, that is really good. Very impressive, and we have loads more to sell. Actually, how much is left in that pit? It's not really a great idea of. Uh, it's, it's not a great way of figuring out how much we have left because we have it in other places. Two hundred and two thousand plus this mountain just here, plus 70,000 in there, plus that little bit, and we actually have loads of maize left at the farm as well, so oh, it's an ongoing job which is never going to end. <laughs> well, it will end, but how did I ever get so much? It is quite unbelievable. Right, I'm going to put it to times uh, 120. We'll head through the night, I'll just keep shoveling, and um, yes, we'll, we'll just see what else what's changed by the morning. Hopefully the temperature will increase as well. It's going to go down tonight, but hopefully by the morning the soil temperature will have increased. Looking good. Well, that was processing all night. Uh, there's no more space left for the eggs at the ducks, so that's going to have to be sold tomorrow in the next episode. All the duck eggs. Overnight we produce another 37,000 litres of biogas. I think now we've reached a full tank, I'm going to empty it whenever I feel like it. So that's another 23,393 pounds. <laughs> it's great. And there's, it's making its way through that, although it has... Um, Looks like it has managed to come out of uh, reach of that, so it's going to need adjusting. Anyway, yeah, I think we're going to leave it here. And yeah, we didn't need to take the horses to the other stable. Uh, I'm guessing that is for when you're training them or something. They seem okay in the paddock for now, but I need to look more into that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.